This video will walk you through how to create a new open learning class and roster students to the class, as well as print usernames and temporary passwords. Once you have signed into your teacher account, you may end up landing on the ConnectEd platform page. You will need to click on the my.mheducation.com link to the right of the page to access the open learning platform. From the My Programs page, click on the Create a Class button. On the Create a Class page, use the search field or scroll through the listed products in the product library to locate the needed product. Click the radio button to the left of the course that you need to create a class for. The products that are available in the product library are only open learning programs that were purchased by your district. If you're unable to locate your needed course, you will want to reach out to your organization administrator for further assistance. Click the continue button to navigate to the class information page. Enter a class name. This will be the name the students will see on their student dashboard. Select a subject and grade level from the drop-down menus. The start date will reflect the current date with the end date being one year from the start date. To select a different date for either the start or end dates, type the date in the available fields or click on the calendar icon and select a new date. Click the Create Class button at the bottom to add the class to your My Programs page. For students to have access to the class, you will first need to roster the students to the class. There are two ways to access the class rostering page. One option is from the My Programs page by clicking on the Options menu at the bottom right of the class tile and selecting Manage Class Roster from the menu. This will navigate you to the roster page within the class. Another option would be to click on the class name from the My Programs page and selecting Roster from the navigation menu. To add students to the class, click the Edit Student Roster button on the Students tab. On the Add Existing Students tab, Use the search field or scroll through the roster list to find a specific student you need to add to the class. Click on the students in the school student roster box on the left, then click the add students button below the box to move the list of selected students to the class student roster box on the right. If you need to remove any students from the roster, click on the student's name under the class student roster box and then click the remove students button below. Click the save button at the bottom to save the roster to the class. After the students have been successfully added to the class, you will need to provide the students with their usernames and temporary passwords for them to sign into their account. To print temporary passwords for the class, click on the key icon at the top of the Students tab on the roster page. Every time you click on this option, the temporary passwords will change for the students. Individual student temporary passwords can also be printed by clicking on the action icon to the right of the student's name and selecting print temporary password from the menu. On the Reset and Print Student Passwords pop-up, click on the Reset and Print Passwords button. This will bring up a separate screen for you to save and or print out the usernames and temporary passwords. When students first log into their account with their username and temporary password, they will be prompted to set a permanent password. Due to security settings, you will not be able to see or print the student permanent passwords. For steps on how a student can sign into their account, refer to the Access Your Student Account resource listed below. For more information on temporary passwords, refer to the Temporary Student Passwords article also listed below. For a more in-depth walkthrough of the class management process, refer to the Open Learning Platform class management document. This concludes our look at creating and rostering an open learning class. Be sure to look at the other available help materials for more information about using your open learning programs.